All right, I'm the flat rate master. Are hourly shops more efficient than flat rate shops? Actually, I think hourly shops are probably more efficient than flat rate shops because there's no additional cost of poor optimization. So this comes from a shop owner posting about his hourly employee not being efficient and getting work done in a reasonable manner. And I don't remember the exact context of how it was shared, but somebody, I think Scanner Danner, shared a post by Becky Witt or Becky Witt herself commented. I don't remember which, but anyway, and Becky went into, if you don't know who Becky is, she's a shop owner, trainer, et cetera. Now, what she posted was all about verifying the efficiencies of the front before blaming the back, which is always good because a lot of inefficiencies in a shop come from the front. You know, most shops don't realize how much inefficiency is built into their systems, but that's an entirely different video. But she sit there and, you know, talk about properly billing for, you know, technician time and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And all valid points. I'm not bashing her because it was actually very good post. But it got me thinking. In a flat rate shop, inefficiencies basically are paid for by the flat rate techs, meaning like. For instance, a technician has downtime because he doesn't have approvals or whatever. There's nothing that it costs the shop other than wasted productivity. When you think about flat rate techs, they're kind of viewed differently in the eyes of management. It's a good thing and a bad thing, but that's not what this video is about. But thinking about it, let's take the instance of a car not getting delivered when the vehicle is promised. Hourly and fly rate tech both fail to deliver similar situations, you know, hypothetical. When it comes to the customer, they're both inconvenienced. There may be concessions have to be made, et cetera, et cetera. Now, let's say, you know, the, the shop owner go, goes out there and talks to both these hypothetical techs. And he goes, why wasn't this car done on time? Why well, didn't get this part until 20 minutes ago? That's not enough time to complete the repair. And they go, well, well, why wasn't this not communicated to the customer? This part wasn't going to be here 20 minutes ago, you know, pointing fingers at the front because it is their fault. They should have communicated that we're not getting this part till too late to deliver the vehicle, costing the shop time and money. But when you look at it from a the efficiency of the technicians, he's only costing the flat rate guy his his money. So in this situation, not counting lost revenue or anything like that, the flat rate tech is more or less paying for the inefficiencies of the front. The hourly tech, however, it's costing the shop money because you figure that extra time that he has to dedicate to finishing that car the next day is something that has to be dealt with because it's costing literally the shop money. Whereas the flat rate shop, there's no repercussions on the back end, you know, for the technician because it literally is, there's no cost. There's literally no cost for those inefficiencies other than the front cost. And that's the thing. That's why actually I think hourly shops are probably more efficient than flat rate shops because there's no additional cost of poor optimization. You think about it, you know, shop owner A with an hourly tech goes up there, you know, we need to fix this. We can't have this. This this is how this needs to go from now on. We got to fix this. Shop B might make that same determination and go up there and we need to fix this. This is killing our productivity. Or goes up there and goes, well, we need to communicate this better to the customer from now on. From a cost perspective, both shops lost the same on lost opportunity costs. Whatever they couldn't get done because the technician was tied up without all the parts. So let's look at it from the cost to the technician. Hourly tech, it cost them nothing. Literally cost them nothing. They make an, you know, they'll make the same amount they make no matter what. 
So it's not a efficiency loss for the technician. It's an efficiency loss for the shop. But when you put it over on a flat rate tech, it's an efficiency loss for the tech. He lost that hour that he could have been billing another hour or two flat rate. Labor rate at $100 and they pay the hourly technician 50 bucks. So for that hour of lost productivity, they lost 150 bucks. You know, the more it costs you for have a technician idle, the more important it is for a shop owner to actually deal with it. Just note for the haters in my audience, I'm not saying flat rate shops can't be efficient. I worked a lot, especially at the old shop, to get rid of a lot of inefficiencies at that shop. Before they had the, you know, people go, oh, well, yeah, no, I've never worked in a flat rate shop that's efficient. Not true. There's there's flat rate shops that are efficient. I'm not dogging on flat rate shops for their lack of efficiency. I put a lot of stuff into the old shop to improve efficiency of the front end as far as I could implement trying to get that system as efficient as possible. So it's just whether or not the shop owner realizes how much leakage he has in efficiency because the dollar incentive is higher in an hourly shop. But I'm not saying a flat rate shop can't have those same efficiencies applied to them. It's just, I realized that there's a higher financial incentive for hourly shops to be more efficient. So anyway, random musings from the flat rate master. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. I am the flat rate master.